My name is David Van Eim, and I love making videos about loads of features within spreadsheets. I love Excel so much that as well as having a YouTube channel and doing webinars and other trainings, I even do stand-up comedy of Excel. So today I'm going to talk about something I don't love, which is when this happens. Yeah, you get an issue and you say, yes, recover it, and it just gives you gibberish stuff that's completely useless. So I'm going to show you ways to fix this. This is partly a sponsored video where I'm going to show you a third-party tool, but I'm also going to show you tools built in within Excel or the Microsoft ecosystem. So let's get going. So let's say that we have that kind of issue. If your files are saved on OneDrive or SharePoint, you can always see the version history. So you can right-click on a file and then you can click here and choose OneDrive and version history, and it will show you when it has been last saved. So if you want to, you can just click on an earlier version and see if this one is going to help to restore at least that one. It does automatically save as long as you keep auto save on. So that can be a really, really useful way to be able to just recover the file quite easily. If that doesn't work, then one thing we're gonna do is turn on file extensions. You should always do that if you're troubleshooting these sort of things. To do that, go to the view tab in your file explorer and then choose show and choose file name extensions. Excel ones would be XLS, XLSX, XLSM. And when you have them like this, you can rename them. So I can press F2 or double click it and I can call it something different. Gibberish or docx is for example, a Word document. This will say it's going to become untutable, yes. And then you can rename it back. Look at how the icon changes. So there you go. Click on it and XLSX. Yes, like that. So hopefully this might work. But in these cases, it's far too complicated for that. So I'm actually going to copy this file extension. And then I'm going to go to an Excel file, go to file and then open and then browse. And then I'm going to paste it, control V. And let's see one of these. You can click open, but in the drop down, you have this interesting thing open and repair. So open and repair will actually try and perform repairs. I'm sure you've gotten this as a pop up that sometimes happens. You want to perform repairs. So this can do it kind of in one go and it will open you the file with the repairs like that. Now, if that method doesn't work, you can also do another thing from File Explorer. So you can follow the click sequence, right click and then choose properties, then choose security, edit, and then add. Then we're going to go to advanced and then find now. We're going to scroll to everyone and press OK. And then we can click on full control, press OK, and OK again. And hopefully this might also fix the file. It's been known to happen. No, it still doesn't work for me here. So now I'm going to go into the sponsored content, which is this tool that I really like using called Stellar Repair for Excel. It's something that you can purchase online for $39. And coming soon, you'll be able to do it online for free with one file a month or pay a monthly subscription as well for $9.99. So if I Google Stellar Repair for Excel and I'll send the link in this tab as well. So here it is for online and for regular. The online one does say coming soon, as I said, and $9.99 per month. So here is the existing one, which is a desktop free download and it can show you what kind of things it fixes and some recommendations, et cetera. How to guides and here's the pricing. So let's look at how it works. So once you install it, Stellar Repair for Excel from your windows. will open up and then you can either browse or find. It's very, very simple. It only does a couple of things. So it's super easy to use. You can go to browse and then I pasted in my link 
By the way, you can also use Windows V. I love this one. Windows V will keep a list of other things that you've pasted in the past, and then you can still grab them. So let's look at one of these. So this one, for example. And then I can press and add another one if I want to. So you can do this for multiple at one time. Not really something I would regularly use. So I can click on repair. There is a quite taggy lock report that exists at the bottom. So press OK. And then you can just save the file as the error message said. And then default location, this will save it in the same location as your existing file. So I'm going to just press OK. And I'm going to navigate back. Here I am. So as you can see, it's named it repaired underscore one and then the file name. So if I open that one, There you go, it's worked and it's worked with conditional formatting for icon sets like this and other types like data bars, et cetera, et cetera. So it actually works on a variety of features, including conditional formatting using tables, very underused feature, but an extremely, extremely valuable one. Of course, formulas and formats, regular formats will work as well. It will also help you with pivot tables, uh, tables we already covered that, all kinds of charts objects like pictures in the cells over the cells it will work for excel microsoft 365 excel 2024 2021 2019 and any other version as well it will also work with queries so if you're using the power query editor this will work no problem as well as vba code and macros will work pretty seamlessly as well so in terms of ways that your file could break your file could have broken from a variety of reasons. So maybe there was an unexpected crash in Excel. Maybe your entire system had a shutdown rather than just Excel. Maybe some sync issues with OneDrive or SharePoint, which for me happens a fair amount, or conversion issues between files, maybe external links. I tend to avoid external links unless I'm using Power Query personally these days. These are all things that Stellar Repair can fix. As I said earlier, the Excel features that it can repair, formulas, self-formatting, conditional formatting, charts, tables, images, shapes, power query, pivot tables, macros, and data validation. All right, well, I hope you've enjoyed that video and I hope that your file maybe now works. <laughs> if you've enjoyed that, my name has been David Benaim and I love doing videos on Excel, PowerPoint, Google Sheets, Zoom, Teams. If you're using Tech of the Workplace, I'm covering my channel. And as I said, I do excel in all parts of my life, even stand-up comedy. So check out the other videos on my channel if this content is the kind of stuff you like to see. Have a great day and thanks for watching.